Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. Guys, got another tweet from Crypto-XRP. This is a bill that will usher the crash of the current financial market. It dictates the reason for returning to the gold standard. This was introduced on March 22nd, 2018, and we haven't heard anything about it. They pulled the gold backing in 1973. And I think this was one of two tweets, but uh, I didn't see the second tweet. Uh, Crypto Dash, please send me the second tweet if there is one. I will pin it in the comments of this video. Here is the bill, guys. HR 5404 in the House of Representatives comes straight from Congress.gov. To define the dollar as a fixed weight of gold, um, Congress finds the following here. The United States dollar has lost 30% of its purchasing power since 2000 and 96% of its purchasing power since the end of the gold standard in 2013. Under the Federal Reserve's 2% inflation objective, the U.S. loses half of its purchasing power every generation or 35 years. American families need long-term price stability to meet their household spending needs, save money, and plan for retirement. The Federal Reserve policy of long-term inflation has made American manufacturing uncompetitive, raising the cost of United States manufacturing goods by more than 40% since 2000 compared to less than 20% in Germany and France. And so guys, this is a bill. This came out in March 2018. Um, www.congress.gov. Uh, I didn't hear about this. I know uh, probably lots of you guys didn't hear about this. Um, here is an article that was released back in July 2018. Efforts to replace the dollar with gold and crypto are underway, says former U.S. presidential candidate. This may have flown under the radar too. Don't know if you guys heard about this. If you have or know more information about this, please do put it in the comment section. World financial chaos and the escalation of trade wars are propelling the global economy onto a dangerous trajectory. As a result, calls for reforming the monetary system are getting louder. For example, Ron Paul, a key U.S. politician, is now openly contemplating the prospect that a combination of gold and cryptocurrencies could eventually replace the U.S. dollar. Very interesting, guys. We know gold has been a historic store of value. Uh, people have used gold throughout history to purchase goods and services. But since 2008, we know that cryptocurrency has been invented. Uh, and so could gold and cryptos eventually replace the U.S. dollar? Well, this is a very interesting question. So here's Ron Paul. Worldwide monetary crisis is fast approaching us. Ron Paul ran for the U.S. presidency on the Libertarian Party ticket in 1988, and he served in the U.S. Congress for several terms from 76 to 2013. Well, in Congress, he was a prominent member of the House Banking Committee. Paul accused the Federal Bank Reserve of causing inflation, and he blamed banking mismanagement for the savings and loan crisis of the 80s and the 90s. Today, he warns that a worldwide monetary crisis is imminent. Indeed, we are already in a dangerous financial situation. And guys, the reason I'm bringing this up is because we've heard a lot about this now with the um, Rothschilds One World Currency article from back in 88. Um, you know, a lot of things are coming down the pipe. We're scared about the stock market. Uh, stocks have been crashing uh, quite significantly. Um, here's gold, by the way, on a weekly chart, but I'm just going to show you the S&P 500 uh, real quick here uh, on a weekly. And so, guys, look at this. So have we seen a double top in, in the stock market? Well, we saw this top here. We saw a significant correction back in March 2018, then a rise again. We hit a new high, so we did break this high but only by a little bit guys. And now we're seeing significant corrections. This is on a weekly. And when have we seen a double top pattern before? Well, we did see one back in 2007, 2008, before this significant crash here. We saw it, we saw the stock market go up, correct here quite a bit, went back up again, made a new high, but then everything after that was a significant bearish trend down. Um, and so guys, you know, I'm not the only one talking about this. There are a lot of people talking about this. And if Ron Paul is uh, discussing a potential worldwide monetary crisis, saying that gold and cryptocurrencies could be the next standard, I don't know if you guys have heard what's called a run on the banks. Um, you may have heard the term, what is a run on the banks? Here's an example of one from American history. The first of four separate banking panics began in the fall of 1930 when a bank run in Nashville, Tennessee kicked off a wave of similar incidents throughout the Southwest during a bank run. A large number of depositors lose confidence, and here's where it is. A large number of depositors lose confidence in security of their banking, leading them to withdraw their funds all at once. And so guys, when there's a lot of people taking money out of the bank all at once, 
That is not good for the banking system. That is grounds for a possible collapse because the bank just does not have that kind of money to sustain. Um, you know, all the money that they have is in ones and zeros. It's being loaned out. So on paper, the bank owns a lot of money, but they physically do not have the cash. So when the public has lost confidence in the banking system, this is what happens. They do a run on the banks. And, you know, you look at this and you think, well, 1930, well, that was a long time ago, right? We've come a long way since then. We wouldn't have something like this happen to us now. Um, but you guys got to remember, and I don't know if you know your geography or your history, with Greece on the brink, let's remember what happened when Cyprus shut down its banks. And this only happened in 2013 as Cyprus's financial system imploded in the spring of 2013. The island's leader were given an ultimatum. Sign up to a bailout deal or watch your banking system collapse. And this is exactly what happened. People ran to the bank machines uh, all in a nervous panic pulling out their money. The brief painful drama that unfolded on the Mediterranean island led to the first capital control in the Eurozone to stem a, a bank run and stop money fleeing from the country. So guys, I, you know, a lot of people might call this a conspiracy theory or, you know, it's it, you're being too worried. But, you know, stock market is looking a little, <laughs> I don't know if I trust this market. I really don't. Um, and guys, so what does that mean? Well, Ron Paul is saying gold and crypto right gold and crypto and i think if this was 10 years ago in the 2008 crash and bitcoin had already been around for 10 years since then we know bitcoin came out of the 2008 crash but let's say bitcoin came out in 1998 and we had that financial crisis stock market plummeted i think bitcoin could have had a good chance at being the next digital standard it, it certainly would have had a big a bigger foothold today just given its history, but now Ripple has come out saying XRP is Bitcoin 2.0. Okay, they're calling on US regulators to create a clear path for adoption of crypto and blockchain. Is this all coming together based on these kinds of reasons? I don't know, um, but XRP is going to be the standard, I think, in case of a financial crisis for all these reasons that are outlined. And you know, it's fun to kind of poke fun at Bitcoin maximalists saying, hey, you know, XRP's got this and this and this over Bitcoin and Bitcoin is antiquated technology um, that came out 10 years ago now. And you know, guys, that's all fun and good when, you know, we're on Twitter or YouTube making fun of people in the comments section. Not that I condone making fun of people, but there's clearly a team Bitcoin and a team XRP. But guys, when push comes to shove, and there's something as serious as a monetary crisis coming down the pipe. You know, if this kind of thing happened, I could hear my wife right now ask me, do we have enough XRP? But I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.